procedure and this is actually your uh, whatever notes and data will be here okay so you can see from if you want to know how much sample you should load or roughly it's estimation it's not accurate but you so it's this one you click on here you can see approximate sample volume is 1.26 meaning you it can accommodate about 1.26 sample here mm. it is basically based on the diameter and the gap that we set okay the, the gap that we set is gap temperature after the temperature Yeah, temperature compensation. Oh, okay. We suppose back off get temperature. And gap the gap we want is one thousand. Okay. How we decide the gap is basically uh, ten times of the particle size. Oh. Normally ten times of the particle size. But if you don't know, just do one thousand up. Huh? Uh, very hard. Uh, you need a microscope to check your particle size, then only you will decide, right? Eh? Alright, so it's not... Okay, so... 2 point... Uh, sorry? 1.26, yeah? So from there, you can pipe back. For your sample, it's too viscous. It's very hard to estimate uh, the volume because it's very hard to pipe back anyway. You can't pipe back, right? So basically, you just scope and put up. Uh, and then extra one, you just uh, uh, wipe it off. So for your case, you can buy pet. You can have a buy pet. Take your buy pet up. Uh, the five minute pet, and then you buy pet about one, one point three, one point four. I normally buy pet a little bit more. Oh. Just the estimation sometimes go off. Not so right. Okay. Is more better? Huh? Is more better? More is better because later you you more once you press it, mm -hmm. you can wipe it off. Oh. If less, you you have to take and add a little more. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so now uh, Dr. Allah, can you show the puppets, please?